Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be my first video in my saving money traveling series and it is how to save money at a baseball game. So we're going to be going to Angel Stadium. It is our local It is our local baseball team. So we're going to be going to that and it is against the Cincinnati Reds. So we will be sharing some tips on how to save money when you go to a baseball game. So keep watching. way to the Angels game. We are going to be dropping off the kiddos with grandma and then we are going to get to go to the game and enjoy a date night. I'm very excited. So the first tip we have for you for saving some money when you're going to a baseball game, that's Scarlett back there. <laughs> the first tip is going to be buying, sorry, okay that's better, is going to be buying discounted tickets. So if you buy your tickets at the stadium or MLB, is it MLB.com? MLB.com. Yeah, if you buy it there, it's going to cost a little bit more. So two ways I found to buy tickets at a discounted rate would be from StubHub.com. And then for um, this trip, we actually use SeatGeek.com for our tickets. And they have tickets as low as $2. So we purchased $4 tickets, and it was just very easy. You can print out your tickets. Um, if you buy them more in advance, you can um, actually have tickets mailed to you, which is fun. If you want like that experience of like getting a paper ticket, you can do that. So um, definitely get some good deals on your tickets to save some money with those websites. I will have them linked below. Also, I found out that Target or not Target, Costco has a really good deal with tickets for your area. And if you go to the little section that has like. Um, gift cards for restaurants and stuff. They have a baseball ticket package with two field level tickets plus two hot dogs and two sodas and it's about 40 to 50 dollars. So if that sounds like a good deal for you head over to Costco and get your tickets there because it'll come with some food and drinks. So that is a good deal. So um, I will be back with another tip for you. Alright so we are leaving Costco and that is part of tip number two is we just stopped at Costco to get hot dogs. Josh has all the hot dogs. <laughs> we got two each and they are massive. $1.50 for a hot dog and a soda. This soda you cannot take into the park, unfortunately, um, but we're gonna drink them on the way. The hot dogs you can take into the park um, and we are bringing in some bottled water and we're able to bring in bottled water as long as the water is sealed and it's not frozen. So I definitely recommend looking um, into the stadium near you to see what their rules are for bringing in outside food because bringing in outside food is definitely going to save you a lot of money um, because we're going to have four hot dogs and we got these two drinks to drink on the way for only six dollars which is a really really good deal and they'll still be warm by the time we get in the game because they're wrapped in foil and we're going there right now so yay for cheap food so for tip number three, it's going to be about getting some really good deal team attire. So if you buy a shirt at the stadium, it's going to cost you like $30 and up. So definitely planning ahead and arriving to your game already in style is going to be a really good deal. So some ways that you can get some low cost game attire. Um, Walmart is so good. They have your local teams. Um, like shirts and hats and stuff in stock so for where I am I am in California so um, Southern California so we have Angels and Dodgers stuff at our Walmart also at our Target but I found that Walmart is going to definitely have the cheapest um, items I saw shirts there for um, $13 13 to $19 and then they have hats there that are $9.99 so that is a really good deal if you're going to wear some game attire to represent your team um, another thing you can do is instead of purchasing something with the game attire is to simply, if you feel like, oh, I want to like support this team that I'm going um, to, but you don't want to buy something new, is to just wear the color of the team. So I was just going to wear a red shirt today because that's what I like to do is just wear a color to support the team, but we are playing the Cincinnati Reds today. <laughs> And both teams are red, so I wanted to be a little more distinguished. So I took my husband's um, Angels t-shirt and I'm wearing that. And 
Sorry, I couldn't reach it. I have my hat. And a hat is a really good investment, especially for like if you have a child or something, um, because you can just buy a hat and then you can use it for multiple years. So that's gonna be really good because you're not gonna worry if the shirt's gonna fit next year. Because if they just wear a red shirt or, I don't know, what are the team colors are there? Black, green, blue, something like that. <laughs> if they just wear a blue shirt and let's say they have a Dodgers hat, or they just wear a red shirt and they have an Angels hat. They have their team um, support attire for every year with just purchasing a hat for $10. So you can just bust out that hat every summer for baseball season and they will have team attire to support their team at the game for just $10 get a hat at your local Walmart. It's not sponsored. I just think it's a really good deal. And then you can just wear a solid color t-shirt that is the same color as the team. So very, very easy to get some um, discounted team attire. Um, Target, if they're having their sales like Sunday, when they have the 10% off everything in, in stock, you could have gotten some team attire there with 10% off so definitely keep your eye out for that and if you do buy like a nice jersey or something you can just use it every single year if you're not growing <laughs> still and um, that will save you some money so wear a solid color shirt get a cool hat and you can have team attire for every year to enjoy um, when you go to, or to wear to enjoy a baseball game with fourth money-saving tip when you're going to a baseball game would be to look for alternative parking. I know for sure at Angel Stadium there is a parking lot um, across the street on both sides of the stadium where you get $5 parking versus the $10 parking for parking in the actual stadium parking lot. So that saves you $5 that you can spend on some snacks or a souvenir at the game. So that's definitely a plus. It's a little bit of a walk but it's just like across the street so it's not that much farther definitely saves you some money and it's actually easier to get out of because if you're ever leaving a baseball game all the cars can cause quite a backup and sometimes it can take a long time to get out of the game so parking a little bit further away across the street for cheaper can also use, also save you some time game angels won Woo! and the last tip I was going to share with you is that if you are going to get a snack at the game get something that's shareable and this is going to be in a lot of my traveling tips videos um, something like nachos that's something easily shared with other people popcorn those are going to be very budget friendly um, snacks to purchase and you're going to get the most bang for your buck because you can share it with your whole group so thanks for watching and next Thursday I will have another traveling deals video so yay angels Thanks for watching.